Hello my friends, Cheeks here. Welcome to Product Patrol, big fun product reviews. I wanna thank Zotec for sending us this multimeter oscilloscope to do this video. There you have it, it's all, in, it's all in the case here. Let's just check it out. There you have it. It's uh, quite the handful of a multimeter digital os oscilloscope. So there we have the package. So opening this up, you have the, the ZT702S. Turn this on and get the party started. Just gonna go through this with all the options and show you guys some of the basics here for you. And whatever level you're at, at least you're starting out with something that you'll be able to grow with. You have some of the basic functions of an oscilloscope at your fingertips. You got your user manual, a little diagram in here. Is you have your USB charger. This is a rechargeable unit with a high power battery. You have your probes in here, a couple of other items. So there's your uh, oscilloscope probe right here. I think this is a bonus. I've wanted this feature for sure. This is a temperature probe. And what's also cool is that when you do the multimeter function, this is the multimeter function. Look at the, the retro kind of look, the bar graph there, very cool. This is another, uh, just as a comparison when you're looking for size here, and you can see that. So we're talking about screen. Visually, this looks very nice, this easy readout, and this is an IPS, IPS 2.8 inch screen. Uh, this comes in very handy, because uh, all the options on there are easy to navigate. And you know, these do their job as well. So there you have the manual, has the nice diagrams in there, is the probe, the CMT connection as well right here. This is the temperature probe I was explaining before. And this is the multimeter test probes. And what's cool about these, they are very sharp. You see that right here, they're very sharp. They are coated calibration screwdriver that you can use. Now just going through basic functions of this, as you can see as a Beautiful screen here, easy to navigate, and everything's laid out for you in the menu here. And you just switch back from mode, and go back to the bar graph. Inside is a high power battery inside. Over here we have USB connection here. You can connect this to a computer. Use it to, this is for charging, and you can upload pictures from this device that you can capture. A ground, and here is a signal terminal CMT connection for the oscilloscope. This is a 999 counts multimeter, so you have display nine digits here. It has your regular COM ports for your voltage. So you just plug in the red here, the black into your COM port right here, and what you wanna do. So right now we're gonna move over to here, you're gonna hit the F2, resistance, here's AC and then back to DC. So you go hitting the mode, goes to oscilloscope, hitting it again, goes back to your multimeter bar graph, and you can just go through the menu and you can change the language, but it's, uh, it's only in, uh, I believe, Chinese, the language. There's a backlight over here. And connect the oscilloscope. You can just push this down and you'll see a clip. Switch this over to the oscilloscope. We're gonna get the other part right here and it'll just lock in automatically. They give you this little screwdriver here and you see the squares here. I've already adjusted this. I'll use this to calibrate. So you want a nice clean straight line. You just put that in here like this. And you can, if you do see that, the distorted lines, you wanna keep them straight and then you're calibrating, just twist until you see a nice straight line. But for more experienced users that are watching, I'm just going through the basic menu and just scroll so you can see that. You know, just scroll over and it starts changing the different wavelengths and they're just changing the, milli, the milliseconds here, M2, M5, M10, M220, M50, 100, 250, and look at that. I look at it and I'm just like, wow, what's going on? It's crazy. And I just hit the menu button and you get all these other features up here. So there's a coupling and you can change the frequency there. And you can set the probe level to 10 or to one. And you can switch it AC, DC there. I've been just uh, moving around crazy and there's just so many options here. 
You can also hit the calibrate button as well and that'll go through. It takes a few minutes so when you want to calibrate you can. It does, it'll do its thing. You just be patient and wait. And there you have that. While you're doing work and you want to like record the screen, you can. You can just hit the hold button and it'll actually take a screenshot and then you can upload that to your computer. I love that you have this option. Now we're just gonna go over and switch it in the menu. And there you have it. It's set here, temperature. Test my hand here. And just it's just changing the temperature. You know, at least you have this option, tepping, testing temperature, which is uh, cool. Put the probes back, plug this in. And this is what I mean about experimenting and having some fun. I saw this uh, I thought I thought I'd check this out, a little experiment here. We're going to check the voltage of a lemon. So I just have a galvanized screw here and I have a copper penny. Having some fun with the Zotec. With the one probe and the other probe. Will it have power? Whoa. It's got some power going on. You just want to measure the voltage here. Now this is, um, this is 1.2 volt. So you use the uh, red probe here. And that's set, you're getting a 1.29, basically uh, the range for this battery, which is good. There you have it, that's 1.4. This double A is 1. Point, is 1.5. There you have it. We got this 21 volt battery here. We're just, uh, we're just testing it and just tapping in here with both probes the red and the black, and there we got 20.48. So you can do some checks here. So there's the uh, resistance. We're gonna switch over here, click it one more time. And then we have continuity. I have an example here for, for continuity that we're gonna do, just some wires here. This is a solid wire. The wire has a break in it right here. So not all the wires are very, are connected. Just a few are, few strands. And then test the other side wire here. And that's so you're getting a continuity right there. Just trying to hold it, but you're getting something there. You can see it's much weaker. So that break in the line is causing a weaker connection. Another thing you test for a continuity on the multimeter is just tap these and they'll just uh, beep. And if you want to test the diode, just hit it again. And one more time. And then you can test a capacitor, 10 and milliamp. And we were to hit this, it's just going to give you a warning that they're not plugged in. So you just unplug these, leave it in the comm, plug it into the corresponding amperage that you need. Well, that was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like, leave a comment, and subscribe here at Product Patrol. Big fun product reviews. Overall, I've had a lot of fun with this. Easy to navigate, and it's got all the multi-functions in here that you would expect in a digital multimeter, and also a bonus digital oscilloscope. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching. Live Life Loud, cheers, and Zotan out.